Right, welcome to the Ideas Internal Team Metric Training. Uh, and this is how you use the Team Metric app to track your time. So this is the interface that you would see from the browser at app.teammetric.com. And uh, as you can see here, I've actually got something active uh, here. This is in the task item. So if you click the task item, you can write down the description of what you are trying to record, the start, the end, and the duration. And you can manually type this in as well. So you can fix any times that might be inaccurate. And you can type in the project that you're writing here in the search bar. You can scroll down and click on whatever project or client that it is that you're working on. And remember to write down the tag as in the type of task that you're writing. So for right now, I'm doing a video shoot for the Team Metric tutorial recording. And remember for this to be as accurate as possible because we use Team Metric in order to track uh, how long it takes for us to do a particular task to see if we're improving on something. We don't use Team Metric to micromanage our team. We use it to understand the nature of our tasks and how quickly it takes for us to actually complete something so we can do it to better accurately cost our projects towards our clients, right? Uh, so here you can see the day, my working day bar, and I've just started my day. Uh, so, so far I've worked for 45 minutes and taken a three minute bathroom break. And these here, if you click agenda, is the calendar uh, items, which is linked to my Google Calendar. So if you link it, you'll see your agenda here, which is very handy. You can just put, click play and it will start playing or recording that particular item's time. Uh, as well as uh, down here, you can add time entry or you can click plus to start a new task uh, or stop. Uh, right now, I'm currently on this one, All right? So if I want to do a new one, I can just click this right away and then click on whatever it is that I will task that I'm doing next, right? And what's really handy about this is that once you've recorded enough tasks, uh, you end up realizing you do some of the tasks that you've done previously. And as you can see here, I can just click like T-Metric admin, proposal auditing or whatever, and T-Metric will save it and I just click it so I don't have to type it. So this is the main dashboard. And I would say that's basically everything that you need to know as a basic user uh, for T-Metric on how to record your time. But it is super handy because there is a browser extension, as you can see here, and I can click that and it will show you that the running time, like what you're actually on, or you can stop and click a new task, right? So whether you're on Canva or on Trello or you're discussing someone uh, with your client, for example, on WhatsApp, you can go to that particular tab and press it and uh, let's say I go new task and boom, it takes it. See, it just extrapolates that from the tab and I can maybe say, I don't know, proposal writing or whatever it is that I want to write. Click on the project, type down that I'm doing proposal writing for that particular client or task. Remember to be specific and it will start recording. All right, so it's super handy. The other thing with calendar or even Gmail is that you can click on the actual agenda item that you're working on and you can click start timer from here right and again it takes everything from the existing page that you're currently working on so it's super super easy to use and very very quick right so let's say i go into trello same thing it says start timer here i can click it says you know working on on this particular task uh pep talks so this one is um, let's say i'm doing administrative items i click start and boom, that's it, it's running. I can go back to my T-Metric dashboard and see it here, it's active, nice and quick. This also has a phone application as well. So if you're not working on your computer and you're outside and you're at a photo shoot, you can download the app and you can use your phone to record your time as well. It's incredibly easy to use uh, and I highly recommend that you take away from this to be as specific as possible in your description and to integrate it into your browser and your phone so it's much easier to track your time and that way you don't wait until the end of the day or even worse until the end of the week to actually start writing these things down because you realize you're going to be very inaccurate about how you're actually recording what you're doing cool i hope that's helpful if you need any more information please feel free to contact any of the principals or the managers for support thank you